Hello everyone, here's a question based on electroplating. One Faraday electricity was passed through Cu2 plus Cu, where the concentration of Cu2 plus is 1.5 molar and 0.1 Faraday electricity was passed through Ag plus Ag, where the concentration of Ag plus is 0.2 molar electrolytic cells. After these two cells were connected, as shown below, to make an electrochemical cell, what is the EMF of the cell thus formed at 298K? We have to find out the answer in terms of millivolts. The given values are reduction potential of Cu2 plus to Cu and the reduction potential of Ag plus to Ag and in the next equation, whatever the term we use, that was given as 0.06 volt. So, we have to use Nernst equation to find out the electromotive force. Nernst equation is E cell equal to E cell standard minus 2.303 RT divided by NF log Q base 10. Now, E cell standard is the standard reduction potential of the cathode minus the standard reduction potential of the anode. This problem has two layers. First, we need to figure out the new concentrations because concentration of Cu2 plus and concentration of Ag plus is given, but they are initial concentrations. Once the electricity is being passed, the concentration of Cu2 plus as well as the concentration of Ag plus is going to change. So, that we need to figure out first before we apply those terms to the Nernst equation. So, let us first find out the new concentrations. We have Cu2 plus on one side. Cu2 plus if it gains 2 electrons then it can become Cu. So, that means to convert it into Cu we require 2 mole of electrons. We know that 1 mole of electrons, the charge of 1 mole of electrons is equal to 1 Faraday that is equal to 96,500 coulomb per mole. But do we have 2 Faraday here? No, we have only 1 Faraday electricity. So, therefore, how much it would get converted? Only half a mole, isn't it? If we have 2 Faraday electricity, then we can get 1 mole of copper but we have only 1 Faraday of electricity. So, therefore, with that we can get only half a mole of Cu, isn't it? So, therefore, now what the concentration of Cu2 plus would be the new concentration initially the concentration of Cu2 plus is 1.5 molar before the electricity is passed. So, after the electricity is passed, what it would become? So, Cu2 plus left is equal to whatever is the initial value Cu2 plus initial minus Cu2 plus consumed, is not it? So, now how much is consumed here? 0.5 molar is consumed. So, 1.5 molar minus 0.5 molar therefore, that is equal to 1 molar. So, that is the new concentration of Cu2 plus. Likewise, we have Ag plus. If Ag plus gains 1 electron, then it would become Ag. But for that, 1 Faraday is required. But how much we are passing? Only 0.1 Faraday that is what is given in the problem, is not it? So, if we are passing only 0 0.1 Faraday, we will get 0 0.1 Ag. So, therefore, the concentration of Ag plus left is equal to whatever the concentration we have for Ag plus initially minus Ag plus consumed, is not it? So, therefore, this will be equal to initially we have 0 0.2 molar minus consumed is 0.1 molar. So, therefore, the new concentration is 0.1 molar. 
this is the value we should use in the nurse equation if we use the older values you cannot get the correct answer now let's come to the actual problem we figured out that what are the new concentrations of cu2 plus as well as ag plus now we need to figure out where the oxidation is happening and where the reduction is happening the reduction potentials are given we know that if the reduction potential is higher for a given species what it means it means it can easily get reduced that means it is a strong oxidizing agent here 0.34 is definitely less than 0.80 so a higher and more positive reduction potential indicates that it has a greater tendency for a species to gain electrons and get reduced easily so higher standard reduction potential means it has the oxidizing tendency it is a measure of the oxidizing tendency isn't it so therefore which one will get reduced here quickly ag plus will get reduced quickly because that has the higher value so therefore this is the cathode and this is the anode here the simple way that you can remember is whichever has the higher reduction potential that will get reduced quickly that has the tendency to gain the electron quickly and becomes a neutral species okay so therefore in this case reduction is happening at this end because it is always anodic oxidation and cathodic reduction so reduction is happening here ag plus gaining an electron and becoming ag and here oxidation is happening in the anode so cu becoming cu2 plus and giving two electron so that means the electron flow is this way isn't it so that part is clear now let's come to the q part so we mentioned that at the anode oxidation is happening so therefore this is cu giving cu2 plus plus two electrons and then at the cathode reduction is happening ag plus gains an electron and becomes ag to balance the equation we have to multiply by 2 here so this is 2 this is 2 and this is also 2 therefore two electron two electron we can cancel therefore 2 ag plus plus cu giving cu2 plus plus 2 ag therefore the quotient here is product here cu2 plus concentration divided by reactant ag plus square because we have the stoichiometric coefficient 2 here we don't write the solids in the reaction quotient equation so therefore e cell is equal to e standard cathode minus e standard anode minus 1 by n times this 2.03 rt by f is given as 0.06 volt times log concentration of cu2 plus that we found is 1 molar isn't it this is cu2 plus divided by ag plus square so therefore the concentration of cu2 plus that is the new concentration that we found was 1 molar divided by concentration of ag plus that is the new concentration of ag plus that we found was 0.1 so this is 1 divided by 0.1 square 0.1 we can write it as 1 by 10 whole square so therefore this is 1 by 100 so that we can put it as simply when it comes up it would become 100 100 i am writing it as 10 square so therefore this will be equal to e standard cathode is 0.80 volt minus e standard anode is 0.34 volt minus n factor is 2 times 0.06 volt times this will be 2 log 10 base 10 so this two this two we can cancel 
so therefore this will be 0.46 volt minus 0.06 volt and that is equal to 0 0.40 volt but we need the final answer in terms of millivolts so therefore this will be 400 millivolt the emf of the cell will be 400 millivolt so therefore 400 is the correct answer here